Ikusaba Asahi, a newly reincarnated man in this world, is currently on a slime hunting quest as a novice adventurer. He seems to be struggling to defeat the slime. On the other hand, his sister, Ikusaba Maya, has an overpowering strength in that world. She is seen killing hundreds of slimes in one strike. It's as if she has cheat level power and a cheat level brother obsession. The scene continues to a tragic site where a party of several adventurers is struggling to defeat a woman who has beaten them. This party is a strong one that can defeat several dragons. The woman claims to be much stronger than any dragon. In a fit of anger, a male adventurer whose party was defeated attacks the woman. However, the woman easily defeats him with a single strike. She claims that everyone in the party can be defeated easily with just one attack, which is very boring for her, and she wants to meet a strong fighter who can entertain her. Meanwhile, Maya and her little brother are walking at night when Maya sneezes. Her little brother is worried that she might catch a cold due to her revealing clothing, so he quickly offers her his jacket. When Maya accepts it, she unexpectedly embraces her little brother and seeks warmth from him. Asahi can't avoid her tight hug. The next day, Asahi thinks that he can't always rely on his sister, so he decides to take a quest that he can complete on his own without her help and heads to the guild. At the same time, Maya feels grateful that she can follow Asahi into this world. When she wakes up in the morning, Maya realizes that her brother is no longer in his room. Asahi left a note on his desk saying that he is taking a short walk. Maya checks his bed and realizes that it is still warm, meaning that he hasn't been gone for long. She jumps onto Asahi's bed and wants to feel the warmth and smell of his body that is left behind. Her obsession with her little brother is really getting out of hand. Meanwhile, at the guild, Asahi looks for a suitable quest for him. When he asks the guild receptionist, he is presented with a very difficult quest that Tanya thinks is suitable for an ogre class like Asahi. Of course, Asahi is scared, and he quickly requests an easy quest that is close to the city. He explains that he wants to relive the feeling of being a beginner and to quickly return to the city if anything happens. The receptionist agrees and quickly gives Asahi a beginner level quest, which is to collect rainbow mushrooms in the Claudio forest. Asahi accepts the quest because he can do it alone without his sister's help and also get EXP and money for himself. Asahi found it very easy to find lots of rainbow mushrooms at the place he visited, but he was suspicious as to why there were no other adventurers there besides him. After exploring, he found a warning about the presence of dangerous bears. Asahi tried to remain calm and thought that it would be very rare for a bear to be in that area. However, Asahi turned pale when suddenly he heard a bear roaring right behind him. It was indeed a very large bear that chased after him, and Asahi ran in fear. At that moment, someone launched an attack on the bear, causing Asahi to be thrown and hit someone. Asahi was sure that it was his sister. After opening his eyes, he realized that the person was not his sister, leaving Asahi confused as to who she really was. Nonetheless, he thanked her for saving him. However, at the same time, it turned out that there were several big bears behind Asahi, ready to attack him. The woman who helped him threw Asahi up and defeated all the bears in a short time. She said that she wanted to test her strength by using bears, and Asahi turned out to be the perfect bait. Shortly after, a giant bear that looked very strong appeared from underground. The bear was wearing armor and could speak. The bear was the guardian of the Claudio forest named Kaiser Bear. Kaiser Bear knew that the one in front of him was Kilmaria of Corruption, a woman who liked to fight and hunt demons to test her strength. Asahi was very regretful because he only intended to take mushrooms, but now the situation had become precarious like this. Kaiser Bear launched his first attack, a very strong fire blast from his mouth, directly towards Kilmaria and Asahi. Kaiser Bear thought that he had defeated them, but it turned out that Kelmaria managed to block the attack and save Asahi in her arms. Kaiser Bear was very surprised to see this. Next, Kilmaria launched her attack on Kaiser Bear, a fire attack much stronger than what Kaiser Bear had done. Accepting the attack, Kaiser Bear disappeared without a trace. Asahi, curious, asked Kilmaria who she was, and it turned out that she was one of the six generals of the Demon King. Asahi felt very scared to hear that. 
but Kill Maria said that she was not interested in weak creatures like Asahi. Then, Kill Maria asked Asahi if he knew an adventurer named Ikusaba Asahi because of the rumor that he had defeated the three orc brothers in Wyvern with a single blow. Hearing that, Asahi immediately turned pale with fear. Without realizing that the person he was looking for was in front of him, Kill Maria said that she wanted to fight Ikusaba Asahi to the death. When trying to escape, Asahi accidentally dropped the emblem he got from the guild. Kill Maria picked it up, and it was written that the emblem belonged to Ikusaba Asahi. Kill Maria immediately became excited again and took a fighting position with him. Maya had a bad feeling about her younger brother Asahi from a distance. Asahi was running away with Kill Maria chasing after him, inviting him to fight to the death. When Kill Maria's hand almost touched Asahi's body, a spike emerged from the ground and hit her back, forcing her to step back to avoid it. Yes, this time Asahi was right, his older sister had come to save him again. Finally, Kill Maria and Maya faced each other. Maya thought Kill Maria would do something indecent to her brother. They argued, and Kill Maria decided to fight Maya for disturbing her fight with Asahi. Kill Maria threw a punch at Maya with all her might, but it was successfully blocked, causing a huge explosion that knocked down trees and sent Asahi flying. They were both surprised because their punch didn't immediately defeat their opponent like the ones before. Asahi thought their strength was balanced. Kill Maria was excited because she was facing someone much stronger than anyone she had faced before. They both launched attacks at each other. Maya landed a heavy blow on Kill Maria, causing her to fall to the ground. Kill Maria began to realize that her opponent was stronger than her, making her more excited and launching a massive fire spell at Maya. To everyone's surprise, Maya easily blocked the attack and sent Kill Maria crashing to the ground. Kill Maria was still conscious and thought that she had been defeated. Curious, Kill Maria asked Maya for her name. After getting the answer, Kill Maria wanted Maya to end her life. As Maya was about to launch her attack on Kill Maria, Asahi intervened because Kill Maria had saved him from a monster attack twice. In the end, Maya and Asahi left Kill Maria alone. When they arrived home, Maya and Asahi ate the mushrooms that Asahi had collected during the quest. After dinner, Maya decided to take a bath first and warned Asahi not to peek. Asahi said he would never peek while his sister was bathing. While Maya was showering, Asahi rested for a while to relieve his exhaustion. However, soon after, he heard Maya running from the bathroom, opening Asahi's door, and protesting why he didn't peek. The episode ended there.